Uh, and what is in here? Supply storage. No sta snatching stuff w out without permission. Sticky fingers get broke. Durant and Freehold receives what supplies it gets by sea. Considering how bare the shelves of a storeroom are, nor new shipments are desperately needed, and probably not coming. When you try to inspect the shelves more closely, a servile runs up to you. Stop! Stop! I supply master. I glick and I in charge. You want, you trade. Calm down. I'm not going to loot the place. Soldiers are all the same, servile or human or not. They come in, boss me around, say they all important. And humans worse. They come in, they see I servile. They think I beg and scrape and serve. I not like that. I'm willing to show, to die to show I not like that. Glad you were servile. Like more to see serviles. Well, I won't treat you that way. Good, good of you. So let alone and let me work. Have broken things to make not broken. I would like to trade with you. That's right, you trade, not just take. Soldiers always try to take all, yell at me when they can't. I buy, I sell. You servile, so you get discount. I good to my kind. Huh, a discount for being a servile. Nice! Uh, blessed bottle, living tool, various potions and pods. Uh, not bad stuff. Uh, I think we can sell that, that, those, and those. That would be saved. And yeah, we're not getting much coin nowadays. Oh, hello. It is nice to meet someone in this busy camp who is eager to meet you. When this mage recognizes you, she walks up and shakes your hand. She's not too much older than you, but she looks like she's seen a lot of warfare. Ah, the life crafter. It is good to meet you. I haven't been able to talk to fellow humanoids as much as I might like to. The drakes are arrogant, and the dracons... <laughs> I digress. I am Mage Manola, and we are going, we're going to work together a little... Natalia told me to offer you training, and she authorized me to try to use some of your time for a mission. Plus, if you ever want to talk, I'm always here. What do you do here? Many things, since we're always short-handed. We all have to do many jobs. We get someone trained, and bam! The Shapers kill him. Very aggravating. I teach magic. I coordinate the activities within the fort, so I'm always walking around. And when needed, I pay mercenaries for their service to us. Oh, well, that reminds me. I'm, offered I'm authorized to give you rewards when you do services for the Rebellion. The more you do, the more you get. Come see me occasionally, and I will give you equipment so you can do more and more. Can my efforts get me a reward? Not right now. Do more for us, and you will receive more. Sounds like you do a lot. I do. I never sleep well, or have a decent meal, or read a book. And don't ask me when the last time I had a date was. Wizards still tend need to, you know, make good friends. But if the rebellion succeeds, it would be worth it. I will never be able to study magic freely when the Shapers are in charge. Mage Manola chats with you about anything she can think of. She seems to have been horribly starved for conversation. Between the canister users, the serviles, and the creations, she doesn't have anyone to talk to. You don't have anyone to talk to? We are standing on the border between the two halves of the rebellion, humans and creations. And the humans have been routed. Many are dead. The creations live for now. But the creations aren't very good for conversation. Well, some of the serviles are, but some can't speak. And some are... awful. Awful how? Drakes and dracons are cold and arrogant. I think it's bred into them. And some of the dracons are worse. They are almost malevolent. I know it is terrible to say it. They are our allies. They need our strength and we need theirs. But when I meet them, they seem so cold to us. So disgusted. It worries me. Do you know anything about Greta? I know that they abducted her and I don't know why. It is very upsetting. I don't really want to talk about it. If we lose the dracons as allies, it is the end of everything. You are authorized to ask me for help. I am. Since the rebels were trust routed in the south, most have fled north. Many have been captured by the Shapers. They are being held, awaiting questioning, probably torture, then execution. They are being held in the Shaper outpost in the western morass. It is a fort southwest of here in the marshes. If you can, you should free them. How should I free them? The defenses at the keep are considerable, and they can draw reinforcements from the west very quickly. Get in fast, open the cells, get out. Speed is the most important thing. Where in the keep are they? Their cells are, we believe, in the northwest corner. But well, we have been wrong before. Can you give me training? Yes, a lot of spells. Let's see. Steel skin. Single target, very tough skin. Essence armor, like essence shield, but stronger. Elemental cloak. Providing resistance from all forms of magical damage. Battle roar. Blesses, cures, and shields every friendly creature nearby. Also cures slowing and mental effects. That is powerful. There's a lot of interesting stuff here, but 
nothing we can really use without improving our magic skills. We're definitely gonna have to do that soon. Very, very soon. Oh, huh, what's this stone structure, I wonder? It's only like the second I've seen. And it has... Okay, is this, uh... Convoy quarters. No entry without permission. You have seen dracons before, but before coming to Durenton Freehold, you had never stood close to one. They are huge. They make the air around them very hot. And when they are annoyed, like this one is, they are terrifying. When you entered, he was writing a letter, holding a quill pen with surprising delicacies between his massive claws. He looks up at you and makes an irritated... ...sound. Who interrupts Bron Riss, envoy of the Dracons? I hope this waste of my time is justified. I would like to speak with you. I deal with those of power and importance. I am of high rank and my time is valuable. You do not justify it. Go. He waves you off with a massive hand and returns to his work. Alright, I'll leave you be. No worries. Everything is fine. Let's see. Uh, more guards there, and I guess all that leaves is going to see Latalia. It's been a long time since we last saw her. Command center. It's full of secret papers. You leave them alone. Okay. These halls are where the administrative business of running the rebellion in Burwood Province takes place. This drake is walking back and forth, planning, taking notes, organizing. She has a pair of satchels hanging from a strap over her back, each crammed with papers. Her clawed hands are covered with ink stains, and when you get her attention, she looks irritated. Out of my way, human. I am Sakdos, assistant to Latalia. I don't have time for you. What do you do here? I do everything Latalia needs me to do it to help her direct our forces efficiently. Organize, research, direct, and I do not need humans interfering with me. The Dracon's attitude is starting to make you very angry. You still have it under control, though. But you help Latalia? She is a human. She is more than a human. She has been shaped above your soft pink kind, and she has proven herself by killing many other humans so I will obey her for now. Why do you hate humans so much? Because the Shapers want to eradicate my kind. Humans are no friends to me. Enough of your stupidness. I am going. Alright. I don't think we'll probably kill you right now, angry as you are. I can see where uh, they would create creations. Jeez, there is a lot of stuff here. All to protect her. And there's Latalia. You have found the master of Durenton Freehold. She wanders around in her laboratory, lost in some higher plane of thought. Eventually, you tug on her sleeve. She turns and smiles apologetically. Greetings. I am Natalia. I have been expecting you, though it doesn't seem that way. It takes a moment to regain your control, your composure. You have actually met Latalia, former shaper, famed and deadly leader of the rebellion. You can see that she has been heavily modified. She has used many canisters, perhaps the Gene Forge as well. She has the vacant stare, the glowing eyes, the waxy skin, but she is also calmer, more serene than those who so heavily remade. She is even smiling at you. Please, be calm. I am but a human fighting alongside you, and the war has grown very complicated lately. And so, since Greta has told me you are effective, I must request your help. Can you tell me about yourself? Uh, I thought that you would ask. I can spare some time. I like to educate the younger ones in the history of the Rebellion. I was a Shaper, but I was... disillusioned. Then I met Drakes and Dracons, when I had been tasked to hunt them. I gave them the chance to speak with me, and I saw that the Shaper ways were not just. I helped them shape an army in secret. I was on the Ashen Isles when we attacked. I did many things. Terrible things. We all did, but we drove the Shapers from some of their lands. We had what victories we have had. Why did you become disillusioned with the Shapers? She, seek, she speaks softly, her mind far away. She looks disturbed. She seems to be reliv reliving unhappy memories. The Shapers have ways of testing their apprentices, to show their purity, to show their dominion over creations. I was sent with a watcher to deal with disloyal serviles. I did this by slaughtering them, burning them down as they begged for mercy, and then making mindless slave serviles to replace them. It was a test of loyalty. A test I failed. It started me on a path that brought me to this place. 
What did you do on the Ashen Isles? When the rebellion began, we had to act fast. We had to lash out at the Shapers. We had to devastate them before they could recover and regroup. This haste kept us from acting as... as... as justly as we could. My first assault was against a school. A school for Shapers. They were young. Almost none survived my wrath. It was necessary, but it was cruel. What happened after that? I helped to lead the human side of the rebellion. I dealt with the Dracons. I helped to coordinate all our assaults. I watched as it began to slip away from us. I watched as the Dracons grew more arrogant, more distant. I sought after more power. Before I used many canisters, then I used more and more, and I let Dracons reshape me. I tried to gain as much power as I could for the fight, and then... Then what? I stopped. I stopped using the canisters. I did not like the effect they have. What do you mean? Do you not feel it? The rages? The distance? The inability to deal with humans not so touched? Our bodies were not meant to be changed so. Not meant to be filled with so much power. Without wisdom. I... <laughs> oh, I am beginning to sound like a trackabite or a similar idiot. No, I simply stopped using the canisters, and I began to rebuild myself. You stopped using canisters? So that means you have canisters around I can use, right? Right? She nods, so distant that she fails to notice your naked hunger. Yes, we have canisters. Talk to Aroy, Blaze, not me. How did you rebuild yourself? I studied and relearned how to have emotions, and how to be patient. When not giving orders, I practiced being a person again, and... She stops and smiles yet again. Her lessons in humanity must include a lot of smiling. This is too much talking about me. I think that all of the lessons I want to give have been given. There are more urgent issues to discuss. I could use training and supplies. I am sure that you could. Talk to Aroy Blaze if you desire canisters. Talk to Mage Manola to learn of magic. She wanders around a lot, but she comes back to this building from time to time. Glick is the supply master. His warehouse is by the docks. What are you working on here? I am studying and preparing to make more creations. The Shapers are coming. We have too few life crafters. I will be among those making new creations to hold them off. I am trying to decide what designs to make. It is very difficult, as I have more self-control than Shaper Monarch did. What sort of creations might you make? Not drakes and dracons. They have insisted that they reproduce themselves through more biological means. Not gazers. They are too independent and unpredictable. And rotgrots are disgusting and hurt the morale of the other forces. I am thus learning how to make kaishaks and wing bolts. These are new, highly effective Shaper designs, but we have had some luck learning how to make them ourselves. You are more restrained than Shaper Monarch? One would almost have to be. All he cared about was raw power, not control, not longevity, not sanity. Natalia watches you silently, smiling and waiting to see what you have to say. There is something about her that is increasingly unnerving. It is as if she, is only, she only exists half in this world. The rest of her is somewhere else, far away perhaps, or on another plane. For as this aura comes to those who have worked as long and as hard as she has to shape herself. I have learned that you spent time with Shaper Monarch. Did you? Yes, yeah, so I suppose you would have since you defeated him. Yes, yeah, so I visited Shaper Monarch. I thought that we might be able to work with him against the Shapers. It did not work out. He was out of control. He was creating new dangerous species and releasing them into the wild as fast as he could. If he was not stopped, he would eventually create something that could breed, spread, and cause harm to all. So I left him to his fate. But before I left, I stole the key. His loss kept him from accessing his most powerful freaks. Where is the key? I sent it east to Northforge Citadel to be looked after. Hopefully one day the rebels there can take it, access Monarch's private chambers, and make use of what it created. Uh, tell me about what has been happening and what you want from me. It is hot. It is a highly unfortunate set of circumstances. You see, lately there has been some strife between the two halves of the Rebellion. The humans and the Dracons have been not been working together well. The Dracons have been greatly upset by our defeats at the hands of the Shapers. They are doing something. Something huge. Something destructive. We do not know what. So, since Greta was coming here, I asked her to go to Quesa Us. She did arrive at that city of the Dracons. She has not emerged. We are very upset at about this. We need to send a neutral envoy to find out why they have abducted our general. Tell me about Kesa Us. It is the city of Dracons in the southeastern corner of Burwood Province. It was constructed only shortly after the rebellion began, blasted in haste from the Rock of the Mountain. Dracons are private and arrogant. They require their own home. 
which now seems to be a prison. What are the Dracons doing? They plan to strike some sort of devastating blow against the Shapers. I suppose that is to the good, but we want to have some say in what happens. We want to make sure that the side effects of their strike are not too painful. That they have not told us what they are planning is worrying. That is why I sent Greta. Does this have anything to do with Northforge Citadel? I suspect it does. The Citadel is in the icy mountains to the east, but no humans have been there in some time. The Dracons have all but claimed it for their own. What do you want me to do? Fortunately, communications between humans and Dracons have not broken down entirely. I want you to speak with Kron Riss, our Dracon envoy. His chambers are in the northeast corner of the Freehold. Speak with him. Convince him to allow us to send an envoy to Kesa Us. To find out what we need to know, we need to start speaking to them first. Why send me? Because you are new here and you have not been involved. Since we learned of Greta's abduction, some heated words have taken place. There has been anger. I have not always been struggled successfully to maintain my calm. Well, okay then. No, I'm not going to. I won't go in there. Alright, let's go speak. We will be diplomats! We will find a way to make sure that things do not go very horribly wrong. I want to make sure the world doesn't explode from whatever they're trying to make. Alright, now, the diplomat here. Kron Riss stares down at you. The room seems to be getting warmer by the second. Yes. Natalia sent me. I need to speak with you. So I must spend time. Fine then, what do you want? The rebels wish to send an envoy to Kesa Us. This is not unexpected. The humans of the rebellion constantly make demands of us, as if obedience to their kind was not something we left behind when we freed ourselves. And why should we allow this? Hmm. Because we are stronger working together than separately. You humans keep saying that. You may think so. We are no longer so sure. Perhaps we Dracons are diluting our strength by accommodating you. But fortunately for you, I have orders from Case Saus. They are willing to speak with a messenger from this place. I will convey that message to Latalia. You do that, but know this. The rebellion is failing. The humans and the serviles do not have a solution. It has fallen to the Dracons to resolve the difficulties. We will not be dissuaded. Now go, leave me to my work. Very well. Back to Natalia. Latalia, I come bearing good news. I have spoken to Kron Riss. An envoy will be allowed into Kesa Us. I am not surprised. I am sure that it wasn't a difficult task. The Dracons are arrogant, but they are not mad. They still understand somewhere in their venf vengeful reptilian brains that they need us. And it also shows that you are capable of dealing with them amicably. This is good. It makes my next decision much easier. I have a task for you. What must I do now? You will not be surprised. I need to choose an envoy to send to Kesa Us. I choose you. You can deal with them, and they are new to you. There are no grudges that will interfere with the diplomacy. Go there, parlay with the Dracons, find Greta, and find out what the Dracons are doing. And be careful. How do I know that the Dracons will help me? You do not. They may be reluctant. They may require convincing. Or you may need to engage in trickery. Whatever it takes to get Greta in and find a way to reach Northwatch Citadel. But you must be careful. I should be careful? How? First, you should do nothing that that will damage our relations with the Dracon. Despite our troubles, we have a common cause and we must work together. Second, be careful not to aggravate the Dracons. They are increasingly temperamental creatures. They can be arrogant and violent. Be wary. Also, I have heard rumors of, of unrest in the Dracon city. Unrest? How so? Since the earliest days of the rebellion, Goldring was the master of the Dracons, cunning, subtle, and devastatingly powerful. But some of the younger Dracons are arrogant, and they mock the old. Some of these foolish ones seem to be gathering around an ambitious Dracon named Salazar. Salazar is arrogant enough to have no use for our kind in the war. If you meet him, beware. Very well. Okay, well. That was a long episode, and a lot happened in here. 
I'm tempted to do something about her, but I don't think I will. Because, really, it's... Why would we do so? For the Dracon? I don't know what she did. So, I'm going to leave it. Next episode, I think we're probably going to uh, work on securing Burwood Province. We might end up killing the various Shapers. First, though, we need to speak with the Shapers on this side of the island. And we'll do that in the next episode. Till then, I am Chester44, that is Enrique, Moyes, and Faye. This has been a Gene Forge 4 Let's Play. I'm out of water, my throat is sore, and I will see you all next time.